Hey guys, what's up? This is gonna be my video on the 4.2 uh, compatible packages for Cydia. And I will be listing all these packages in this video and also in the description in case you miss it. And if these packages update or uh, there's more packages that are compatible with 4.2, I will also list that in the description. So now a lot of users are upgrading to uh, firmware 4.2.1 and are wondering what Cydia mods, tweaks, apps, and packages that work uh, on 4.2.1. So th in this video, I'll be showing you which packages work. Now the first one is Action Menu. What Action Menu does is it basically allows you to have an enhanced copy and paste features. Now you can, uh, for example, you can have a little pasteboard so you can paste text into a pasteboard and you can also uh, copy and paste contacts and it basically enhances your regular copy and pasting in many ways. Now the next one is mobile terminal. What mobile terminal allows you to do is it basically is an S, uh, you can basically uh, go, it's like a terminal for Mac where you can just see, uh, you can enter in certain commands and uh, things like that. Now the next one is iFile. What iFile allows you to do is it is a mobile SSHing uh, feature into your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad so that you can just uh, edit and view files or add files on iFile. So the next one is Daemon Tool. Now what does what this does is it basically allows you to speed up your device by installing this a uh, certain package. Now this will remove packages uh, in on your device to make your device speed up. Now the next one is Gridlock. What Gridlock allows you to do is it allows you to place icons anywhere on your springboard without following the grid like you regularly would have to. Now uh, this is an eye blank alternative as well. Now after that is Safari Download Manager. What Safari Download Manager allows you to do is it allows you to have a downloading feature in Safari so you can download a certain uh, packages and downloads or you can download music from Safari to your device and so on. Now the next one is Iconoclasm. Now what Iconoclasm allows you to do is it allows you to have certain layouts, uh, springboard layouts, so you can customize it to whatever you're, you would like on your device. Now this is compatible with iOS 4. Now the next one is Loctopus. What Loctopus does is it allows you to password protect your device uh, by uh, when you put your icons into wiggle mode there will be a little lock and then you tap that lock that will be on your icon when you are in wiggle mode and then uh, you simply can tap that lock and then it will lock that application and the default password for every application that you lock is password until you change it in the settings tab that it has. Now the next one is attachment saver. What attachment saver allows you to do is it allows you to save attachments in mail. After that is switcher mod. Switcher mod partially works on 4.2 which with some of the features that are missing. Now with switcher mod you basically can uh, it enhances the multitasking feature on your device and you can triple click to uh, close apps after a certain app so then I'll close that whole row out and automatically puts uh, a little uh, minus button over the icon so you don't have to hold all the icons and then do that and the next one is barrel barrel is a studio tweak that allows you to add a different uh, springboard effect when you uh, scroll through your pages now this does not work for the iPad as it says right here but you can try it out on the iPad because uh, it does work but it is a little bit buggy. Now the next one is Backgrounder. Backgrounder adds true multitasking to iOS 4 and above. So with Backgrounder you in regular native iOS 4 multitasking any app you would open would multitask but with Backgrounder you can simply hold the home button down or set whichever default activation method and then whenever you can just choose which application you want to multitask. Now after that is Folder Enhancer. What Folder Enhancer allows you to do is it basically uh, enhances your folder application with 
the ability to add up to 320 icons within one folder. You can add your folders into your dock on your iPhone, iPad Touch, and iPad. And also you can add a folder within a folder within a folder and so on. And this does work in extension with multi-icon mover. So you can move multi multiple icons into the folder enhancer and so on. So after that is lock info. What lock info allows you to do is it allows you to put all your, uh, say, voice, uh, phone, missed phone calls, your email, your notifications, all on your lock screen in a very uh, nice way. Now, after that is multi-icon mover. Now, this is in beta, although it does still work on 4.2. Now you simply can move multiple icons at a time, so then you just put your icons into wiggle mode, then you tap the bottom right of the icon until you see a check mark, then you could uh, tap as many of those as you want so that you can move the multiple uh, icons into one page. Now the next one is winter board. What winter board allows you to do is it allows you to customize themes, enable themes, uh, add tweaks and this is just one of the main essential apps that you should have on firmware 4.2. Now after this is full force. What full force allows you to do is it allows you to uh, make when you have a regular iPhone sized app on an iPad it basically scales that iPhone app to the iPad so it takes up the whole screen and it isn't as pixelated. So after that is app sync. What app sync allows you to do is it allows you to sync your crap your cracked apps from iTunes uh, onto sync your cracked apps from iTunes onto iTunes. Now, after that is Installus. Installus basically allows you to get uh, cracked apps for free. And in Installus 3, it has a new interface. Now, with Pop Up Blocker, it basically blocks all the pop ups on your device. Now, the next one is Emoji. Emoji is a uh, you basically can add what emoji basically allows you to do is it allows you to add custom animations to your keyboard uh, when you use it and you can simply uh, use it in a text field or whatever you want to use it in options on your keyboard now the next one is smooth board what smooth board allows you to do is it allows you to smooth smoothly scroll through all of your pages uh, with one scroll and it doesn't lock in between pages and this partially works with 4.2. Now after that is iWhiteboard. iWhiteboard allows you to uh, draw on your screen and I made a video on that uh, a little before this video. Now the next one is auto close folder. Now this automatically closes your folder once you open up an app from a folder because when you usually open up an app from a folder it leaves the folder open. Now the next one is Iconoclasm Layout. It has it allows you to do customized layouts on your iPad using Iconoclasm Layouts. Now after that is Mobile Volume Sound. And with Mobile Volume Sound, it allows you to have a Mac-like sound on your device when you change uh, your... It just allows you to have a Mac-like volume sound when you change the volume up and down on your device. Now, the next one is no badges. It doesn't put any badges where there usually would be badges on your icons. Next one is SNES HD for iPad. What that does is it basically is a game emulator that is made specifically for the iPad, and you can also use your iPhone or iPod Touch as a controller on that. Now, after that is SB Settings. SB Settings is basically a very useful toggle feature on iOS 4 and above. And you simply slide uh, on the left of your status bar. And then after that is Activator. What Activator allows you to do is it basically allows you to have different activation features. After that is IC version 2 beta. Now, this is an alternative city installer but it doesn't take over the use of Cydia it just uh, you can just use it in conjunction in conjunction with Cydia multi cleaner now this makes your multitasking more cleaner and basically that's what it does now the next one is Netatalk what Netatalk allows you to do is it basically allows you to share 
uh, files between Apple devices. Now, thank you for watching this video on all the compatible 4.2 uh, mod, City of Mods, Tweaks, and Apps on your device. Please subscribe, please like this video, and thanks for watching.